Oregon State coming off of a bye, matches up against a Stanford squad, and there's a whole lot of questions for a team that's lost three consecutive games. In fact, that's never happened to the Cardinal under David Shaw. More questions than maybe answers. The biggest question you have about Stanford, I would assume, has to do with their offense. Are they going to be able to score enough against the Beavs? Well, if history says anything, they should. Oregon State has struggled defensively over the entire Jonathan Smith tenure. They've improved. They've gotten better. They're coming off a of bye week. Yes, Stanford will have a chance, but they're going to have to play their most efficient football and explosive football, and they haven't been connecting balls downfield much. Sure. I mean, you go, you watch that game back against, against Oregon, they hit chances. They do some good things offensively, but they just can't score when they need to. They didn't connect on a lot of those deep shots. Receivers are running out of bounds. Credit the defense they went against, but the wideouts need to make plays in this ballgame. All right, as Jonathan Smith has been examining the tape, and once again, he's coming off of a bye, what's the one thing that he wants to make sure his football team does better? they got to play a complete game against a real opponent. No disrespect to Cal Poly, but you look at week one against Oklahoma State, play well in the first half, same thing at Hawaii. they got to finish the game. This is an opportunity for the signature win. Colorado was nice last year, but this would be the signature win against David Shaw if they could get it. And they have an opportunity to do so based on how they score. Isaiah Hodges, one of the top receivers in this conference, let alone America. Sure. Quarterback Jade Luton is dealing. So big time opportunity at home against Stanford. Stanford, like you said, in Corvallis for this matchup. We got you covered Pac-12 Network. Our coverage starting at 3 p.m. Pacific time with the pregame show.